Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Anishka. On this channel, I post beauty and lifestyle content. For my returning subscribers, hey fam, how's it going? Thank you for coming back for yet another video. I am doing a wig review and install. So if you are interested in seeing how I install this wig, that is going to be the next segment. If you are not interested in seeing the install, you just want to hear about the wig, if I like it, how I feel about it, I'm going to have the timestamp down below so you can just skip ahead and go to the review portion if that is what you want. But this wig did come with some stuff. It came with wig caps and it also came with a pair of lashes. Also in the box with the wig was this little card. Just them thanking me for ordering it. So before I go into the install and before you guys skip over to the review, this wig is a 22 inch body wave wig. It does come with a 13 by 4 HD lace. So that is it for this wig. Let's get into the install. I was on TikTok and they were talking about these HD lace wigs. So, so I picked up a couple. So this is what the wig cap looks like. It's a lot thinner and it is very stretchy, but it's thinner. The color isn't as like a dark brown as the normal wig cap. So we're going to see how this works. So I've been shying away from doing the ball cap method guys because honestly even when I feel like I do I feel like it's still like taking away some of my edges and as a black woman my edges are very important to me and I would love to still have some edges even though I wear wigs and braids all the time like I still want my edges guys. So this is it on. I'm going to put some foundation um on the wig cap and then we're gonna put this wig on. This is the wig on before I do anything. I did apply some of my concealer to the lace of the wig as well. So this is supposed to be body wave as you guys can see. I did bleach the knots and wash the wig so that's why it's looking extra like wavy and kind of curly right now. So I want you guys to get a close up of this lace. I will say this lace is very nice like it's not thick it's pretty thin and it's very sturdy like it's not like ripping or fraying like as I'm tugging at it which is really good so when you're cutting the lace off you're not going to get it to start like fraying and that is sometimes an issue with other wigs so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the air flaps off and just start gluing this down
Now I'm going to cut the lace off. So I'm going to be looking off to the side because it's where my mirror is, guys. So I'm just going to be looking over here. I did just place the wig band like at the very edge. So like this edge is at the very edge of the hairline of the wig. So that is my guide as to how I'm going to be cutting this. This is the first time I'm trying it this way. So I'm just hoping that this like helps in terms of not getting the lace to lift as much. I know what I've done and I'm too afraid to let it go. If I could, I would turn back time. If I could, I would take it all back. If I could, I would bring back all the memories, not just only in my dream. Oh, if I could. So there are like a few little parts that I see that are lifting so I'm just going to go back in with my spray and my comb. So now I'm going to use my alcohol. So this is 70% alcohol, so I'm gonna use that and a cotton ball to just clean off my forehead for So now I'm just gonna wait a few minutes for the adhesive spray to like dry down that I just applied. And then I'm going to start styling the wig. So I'm gonna do like a side part, like I'm gonna do it like here. I already started making out how I want my part to look. So I'm going for more of a side part with this wig because that's what I like. I don't really like middle parts as much. So I'm gonna do a side part. I'm going to like style the wig. I'm gonna like um, hot comb it down so it's nice and flat. So once I'm done doing that, I will get back on here so you guys can see how the wig looks. But I do think this is such a cute wig already. So if you didn't skip to the end, thank you for watching the install. Let me know what you think about how I install this wig. For those of you guys who are just here for the review, yeah, let me tell y'all the tea about it. So for me, I would say I did really like this wig. I would give this a five out of five. I know that is rare for me to give a wig a five, but honestly, I would say the knots were small on this unit. This is big head friendly. So if you have a bigger head, like this will definitely fit you. I had to really crisscross the bands in the back in order for it to like fit my head very snug. I did really like the lace on this wig. Like I said before, I did bleach the lace and the knots, but I don't think you need to do that at all. Just using foundation or a dark concealer will definitely give you the same results. And that's one less thing you really have to do. This did come with a pre plus hairlines. It did not come with pre plus baby hairs. Granted, I have been coming out and doing my own baby hairs a lot more lately. I did do a little side swoop here, but I've been like practicing doing it myself and it's actually not that bad guys, but I didn't come with pre plug baby hairs if you are into that. So for those people, I would say this is really a four out of five now that I think about it. Cause yeah, we know we like when it comes with all the razzle dazzle already done for us that we don't need to do anything ourselves other than flop it on our head 
but I do like the way the hair feels. It is very soft. And like I said, because I bleached the knots, I had to wash this before installing it. And I think when you wash wigs, you get the most truest feel for how the wig is because you can start feeling if there's like synthetic hair mixed in because it'll feel very rough after washing it. But the whole unit feels really soft. Like look at that color it doesn't have that shiny color that some synthetic wigs have so i really do like that it looks very natural it has very loose waves now because i did not curl it after installing it because i wanted you guys to see how it would look like without me doing anything extra the only thing is i did hot comb this down so it's flatter and I did the little baby here. So yeah, but other than that, I have not customized or did anything else really to this wig. And I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And I am a huge fan of body wave wigs over other types of wigs. So this is very nice. It's simple. And like I said, it is 22 inches. So it's hitting me right about my waist, a little above my waist. So it's not really long, but if you want a longer length, they do have longer lengths. I just went with 22 because I'm more of the between 20 to 24 length personally because I am pretty short. But that is all I have to say about this wig. I do really like this unit. So four out of five, five out of five, those are my ratings because it's really great. But if you guys want to check it out, I will have the link down in the description box as always if you have any questions if you are curious to learn more about this link just drop me a comment and i will gladly answer any questions you guys might have and as always i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys